Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Zill update. Let's see guys what it has done. And of course from yesterday I told you it looks bullish. We were here guys around there and I told you we, we, that our next target price targets are 13 cents. And after we break the 13 cents, 14 to 15 and of course 15 to 16. Right now we had the big bullish candle guys. And of course I am so excited about this. I didn't expect it to have such a quick short term price action for the very very short term right now we had this very very bullish nice green candle i've drawn my fibonacci retracement level in case you are wondering how i've drawn it starting from this top right here 6th may guys ending up to this bottom 19th may i wanted to find the important resistance levels as you can see a very very huge bullish candle on the 4 hour frame now we are correcting a little bit above the 14 cents and uh, to 15 cents and of course we are correcting due to the common channel index i will explain afterwards you have nothing to worry about look at what we've done we've surpassed this resistance line that i always talked about we need to see making higher lows higher highs and eventually now we've done it higher lows and of course higher highs as long as we've surpassed this resistance line my previous video from yesterday it is up you can uh, watch it whenever you want and of course you can test by yourself what we've said on the channel so right here we went above it is looking good guys on the 4 hour frame even if we get a bearish cross right here we won't mind because we are on the 4 hour frame we are not on the daily frame let's go now to uh, Zill against USDT in the 4 hour frame and let's see why we have uh, why we might have an overbought situation for the short term because we are above 100 for the commodity channel index what we want to see is eventually if we drop down stop right here and go upwards again this is what we want to see guys or eventually stop at 100 and go upwards again okay if we see a more of a correction going down then we will see further correction going on okay so for now for the rsa we just have an overbought situation as well for the rsi and we might move downwards for the short term so we have to be careful for now for the next few hours guys i'm talking about of course according to the sl channel we have a buying opportunity but i don't trust it on the short term i mean i don't trust this on the four hour frame because we might have a correction here and though we don't have a buying opportunity for the next few hours i'm just talking about so right here let's go to the daily frame you can see that we surpassed the previous resistance level here we are above we are going we are doing good the bullish recross here guys the bullish recross is so important for zil we had this macd crossing the signal line and we want now to see further distance with its lines okay we need to see the blue line going above the signal line right here so that's what we want to see but for now we are looking good for the midterm guys we are looking strong okay so for now for the macd we have nothing to say but we want to keep going upwards we want the blue line to be above the orange line here so we are going now to the rsi and the relative strength index as you can see we are moving upwards we want to keep continuing having this upward situation where we will be seeing higher lows and higher highs eventually going something like this okay we are between 30 the lowest point and 70 the top point so therefore we have room to grow we don't have any overbought or any oversold situation according to the commodity channel index guys it is the same we want to see going upwards as i told you yesterday i want to see it going all the way upwards even surpassing the 100 for the daily frame so for the midterm we don't have any risk involved guys however for the short term we had as i've sh shown you before so the real reason why we went upwards is the zeal against bitcoin guys zeal against bitcoin absolutely went insane jumped or immediately the 0.618 and stopped at our next fibonacci retracement the 0.786 the 0.5 five zeros four hundred it stopped right there and now we are having a little bit of a correction due to the commodity channel index due to the rsi being above the 70 yes we are in an overbought situation guys we have a risk for the short term okay so we have to be careful for now for the next few hours if you want to get in at a lower price you can do it guys let's go to zilla against bitcoin in the daily frame you can see we stopped at the 0 0.786 we are now doing good and of course for the daily frame we are about to get above the 100 for the commodity channel index for the rsi we are still between 30 and 70 so we wanted to see this in order 
to just getting higher highs and higher lows. Eventually, what we want to see is surpass the previous high and stop at around 0.50505. This happens, this price label is because we divide Zill's price to Bitcoin's price. Okay, so for now, we want to go upwards, we want to make a, a, a truly, truly a daily, guys, here, a pump up an impulsive wave. We want to have an impulsive wave with Zill. Let's go now to Zill against USDT in the follow-up frame to discuss some things about the, uh, the, uh, the uh, price analysis, guys. And of course, right now, in case we correct a little bit down, do not worry. It is because we explained earlier, it is because to the commodity channel index being in an overbought situation and the RSI being above 70. You can see both of these indexes are in a risk. Therefore, guys, correcting is very, very healthy. Okay, correcting for a little bit for the next few hours is very, very healthy. If we, even if we go back to 14 cents, that will be very, very good. What we don't want to see is if we cross down this line right here, guys, then, okay, it is absolutely not good for the short term. However, we have some, some indicators for the midterm that we, we will be seeing Brazil, uh, uh, fortunately, surpassing the 15 to 16 cents. That's our next, next price target here, guys. And from the moment that we went even above the 14 cents, I believe we can achieve that. And if we make this as a support level, then going to 18 cents, guys, is very, very logical. Okay, it will be very, very logical because it is the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. So for now, we might correct because Zill corrects against Bitcoin. And of course, Zill on the US devaluation might correct even more. We will see how far we will drop down, it is due to the commodity channel index. So if you are a new investor, I advise you to wait a little bit because you can get in at a lower price. And Bitcoin eventually, guys, might have, might have a correction soon because we are in an overbought situation for the commodity channel index. For the RSI, we are not. On the daily frame, we keep having this pattern we mentioned. And of course, we are a little bit above the uh, resistance, uh, the, the top trend line here for the RSI for the daily frame. I believe that Bitcoin can have a swing high to 41,000 USDT. Why not? Especially if we see a bullish recross here on the 20 DMA and the 5th DMA. And as I told you previously in my previous videos, guys, in the previous weeks, I told you there is not a single time in the history that we haven't gone, that we have gone beyond 30 for the RSI and then we hadn't seen a swing high. And therefore, that's why I trusted the swing high. However, guys, there might be a bull trap and you always want to be careful because if there is a bull trap, then we might go to 41,000 USDT and then we fall down immediately, crashing down or stopping again, guys, at this point right here. So you have to be careful. You want to be careful. However, the swing high probability is still here. And of course, right now we are correcting a little bit to the RSI and the commodity channel index. What we want to see for Zill is going down and eventually backing up while we go at the 100 near here because then we will be seeing Zill going crazy, okay? And we will be seeing an impulsive wave for Zill from the 4 hour frame after the minor correction here. We want to see where we will stop. We might stop at 14 cents, guys, around this line right here. We might stop even further down. Either way, I believe that afterwards we will be testing the 16 cents. And why not if we manage to make this as support level, then the 18 cents is very, very uh, close to, uh, to achieve that, okay? The 18 cents is very, very logical. And of course, we need to make first the 16 cents as a support level. So for now, we surpassed all the expectations, guys. I didn't expect it to grow so fast in such a short Term. Okay, I didn't expect this. I expected to reach the 14 cents and the 14 to 15 cents, but not in such a short term. So yes, we had here a big bullish green candle, guys, on the 4 hour frame. Now we have a small uh, red candle of a correction here due to the commodity channel index, as I've told you before, due to the RSI, as I've told you before. Afterwards, we will be able to grow, I believe, to 16 cents and why not if we can manage to escape the 16 cents why not we can go to 18 cents as well so everything is going good guys we have the zeal against usdt in the daily frame you can see the macd bullish recross here we want to see it going all the way upwards you can see the ssl channel is above the red line here we have room to grow according to the daily rsi and commodity channel index so therefore everything is looking good for the four hour frame please 
be careful a little bit for the correction then we can fuel up and go hours again thank you for watching have a fantastic day wherever you are of course guys stay tuned for many many more videos see you soon bye